Clock Hour, we introduced you to a couple of retired Navy SEALs who are undergoing groundbreaking treatment for PTSD and traumatic brain injuries right here in the villages. It involves hyperbaric oxygen chambers, which have been around for a while. Washington's Marley Martinez talks with doctors about how this works and with the veterans about why treatment is so important. So, welcome to our chamber. This is Dr. Mohamed El Amir. He explains the science behind hyperbaric oxygen treatment. So they are sitting in here two hours a day, five days a week for up to 12 weeks. We close the doors, build the pressure up, and they start to breathe 100% oxygen for 20 minutes. While that's happening, their oxygen level is very high, and then they just take the mask off for five minutes. And they're doing this back and forth. Dr. Elamir says no. this process heals no, the brain. I... So why the pressurized cabin? This is like the mission control. This is the mission control. This is NASA. Elamir shows how the pressure inside here is the same as diving 33 feet down. And breathing oxygen under that pressure increases the concentration of that oxygen 17 times, getting more of it to the cells that need it. So if I have an injured brain that has lack of blood flow, has damage, has decreased metabolism, I can put them through this treatment and build new blood vessels, build new cells, build new connections and help the function, thereby addressing the cause of somebody's symptoms. Their anxiety is less. Their depression is potentially no longer existent. Lights are on. The treatment continues outside the chamber too. Hit it. It's a holistic approach. You go on, yep, to neutral. With exercise, physical therapy, and cognitive training. It, it comes down to a better quality of life. You know, uh, PTSD and traumatic brain injuries both. It robs people of oftentimes their joy, their passion, their ability to engage with other people. Roger Miller is the clinic's psychologist. He assigns the veterans custom brain exercises on the tablets inside the chamber. Yeah, I truly believe hyperbarics uh, is going to change healthcare as we know it. The price tag for this three month treatment is over $51,000. And right now, insurance does not cover hyperbarics for PTSD or TBIs. Retired Navy SEALs Chris Sinog and Julio Fitzgibbons suffer from brain injuries. They're able to get this help thanks to the military support group, America's Mighty Warriors, and Aviv Clinics. I would hate to lose people that don't need to be lost. When, yeah, this is expensive, but it helps. According to the VA, nearly 414,000 military members have been diagnosed with a TBI since 2000. TBI is out there, not, not just because I'm a SEAL. I mean, you're talking about infantry, you're talking about so many servicemen and women that have just experienced horrible things, and they're forgotten. They truly are forgotten, and our government has forgot us. If I have a TBI, every special operator, Navy SEAL, has a TBI. I'm worried about the other people. I'm fortunate because I do have foundations that have reached out to me, but if it wasn't for them, I don't know where I'd be. I know it can make a difference in a lot of people's lives, and I know it will make a difference in my life. In the Villages, Marley Martinez, West 2 News. Doctors say the benefits from this treatment may not show immediately, but over time instead. Chris and Julio recently finished their treatment. Chris came back last